Well, we've had 10 landmark years now. I assume next year will just be even bigger. Um, there's been a lot of investment in this industry in the last uh, 10, 15 years that I've been in it. And, uh, you know, everything's coming together. Everything's going to space, and space is becoming very important right now. We've been having a lot of conversations about people traveling to space. We've seen a lot of rockets taking off, uh, a lot of them with SpaceX all over them. What are people missing about the space race at this point as you talk about satellites and connecting people up? What, what are people missing about the grand scheme of the space economy? Well, space is hard, and people forget about that. We have a long history, uh, been around you know, almost 30 years now, 25 years in service, and uh, it's challenging because it's very capital intensive. There's a lot of potential failures out there. Um, there's only a few real successful companies right now. Clearly SpaceX is a bit of a unicorn and there's some other really good ones as well. Uh, carving a path through all that, uh, that uncertainty with, with high CapEx costs and then becoming profitable someday and generating cash, that's not something that's easy to do. It took us 30 years and it's taking some of those companies will take them a long time as well. Uh, the Starlink pros uh, proposition that Musk has as well seems to be a fairly dominant player in the industry. To what extent do you find in competition hard when everything is badged Elon Musk and now he's uh, got the ear of the incoming president? Well, Starlink is a brilliant product. I mean, it, very few people can uh, replicate really this, the potential success of Starlink because not only uh, is there sort of unlimited capital behind it, but that they have the rockets as well to launch it. We've worked very hard to make sure we were complementary to Starlink. Uh, investors probably don't completely understand that right now, which is why we're a bit misvalued. But uh, what we do is a different spectrum, a different service. We're more about uh, doing the hard things that Starlink can't do, you know, high mobility, really small devices, uh, protecting GPS, tracking airplanes, doing a thing, many things that Starlink doesn't do. but. Because we're in low Earth orbit, in fact, we were the original low Earth orbit system, uh, it seems like if they're launching satellites in low Earth orbit, they must be competitive to us, but that's not really how it works. 